This lesson will cover the following topics. Introduction to the instrument panel. Main functions and input signals. The instrument panel contains several types of data. Journey data providing speed and distance information during a journey. Vehicle data providing information on the condition of the engine and the fuel level. The warning lights give information about the various lights and the handbrake. The alerts give information about mechanical emergencies. The instrument panel displays information in either analog or digital form. There are two types of digital display. Liquid crystal display or LCD and vacuum fluorescent display or VFD. VFD is more flexible than LCD in that it can display icons and characters. Some models are equipped with trip computers offering additional information. The display is controlled by a selection button located on the wiper stalk. The available parameters are displayed by pressing the button repeatedly. The instrument panel on recent Renault vehicles is not repairable. If the instrument panel is faulty, it must be replaced. The only replaceable component is the instrument panel screen. In this section, we covered the following points. The instrument panel contains journey, vehicle, warning and alert data. The instrument panel displays information in either analog or digital form. The trip computer offers additional data. The only replaceable instrument panel component is the instrument panel screen. Let's look in more detail at the main functions and input signals of the instrument panel. As a general rule, the instrument panel displays data processed by a computer. Sensors transmit input signals to a computer. The computer analyzes the signals and sends the data to the instrument panel. Let's look first at the speed indicator. Depending on the type of vehicle, vehicle speed data may come from different sensors. The transmission sensor sends speed data directly to the instrument panel. By contrast, the wheel speed sensor transmits the data via the ABS computer. The ABS computer calculates the vehicle speed and sends the data to the instrument panel via the multiplex network. If the vehicle does not have ABS, the vehicle speed computer fulfills the function of the ABS computer. Let's now see how a rev counter works. The flywheel sensor sends a signal to the injection computer. The injection computer determines the speed of the engine and transmits it to the instrument panel. Depending on the vehicle model, the signal from the computer may be transmitted directly to the rev counter. The signal may also be transmitted via the multiplex network. Let's now see how a fuel level signal works. The fuel level gauge consists of a float connected to a rheostat. Fuel level data is transmitted to the instrument panel by a wire. A warning light comes on when the fuel level reaches the minimum level. Let's now look at how a coolant temperature gauge works. The coolant temperature sensor consists of an electronic negative temperature coefficient sensor. On some vehicles, data from the resistor is transmitted directly to the instrument panel. On recent vehicles, these data are transmitted to the injection computer. The injection computer sends information about the coolant temperature to the instrument panel through the multiplex network. An engine fault warning light comes on if the engine overheats. The stop indicator also comes on, requiring the vehicle to stop immediately. Let's see finally how an oil level indicator works. An oil level sensor is a hot wire semiconductor located in the oil sump. The oil level sensor can communicate directly with the instrument panel. 
The oil level sensor can also communicate with the Protection and Switching Unit, or UPC. The UPC sends the oil level data to the instrument panel. An oil level warning light comes on when the oil level is too low. The service indicator light also comes on. On recent vehicles, the warning lights and alerts work with light emitting diodes, or LEDs. The LEDs are controlled by an integrated circuit housed in the instrument panel. The integrated circuit lights an LED or not, depending on the input data it receives. In this section, we covered the following points. The instrument panel displays the data processed by various computers. Depending on the type of vehicle, vehicle speed data may come from different sensors. The injection computer determines the speed of the engine and transmits it to the instrument panel. Fuel level data are transmitted to the instrument panel by a wire. The instrument panel receives the temperature data directly or via the injection computer. The instrument panel receives the oil level data directly or via the UPC. The LEDs are controlled by an integrated circuit housed in the instrument panel.